Welcome everybody to another 144 analytics video on how to use the Fibonacci retracements. This one we're going to go into, uh, well we'll be starting something new in the beginning of next year and that is that we're going to cover the S&P, uh, crude oil, Bitcoin, and gold. So in showing you that uh, as we believe that the Fibonacci retracements are the underlying structure of all markets. We're just going to take you through the S&P Bitcoin and then show you a little bit of what's happening in reverse in the grains. So we're going to start here with the S&P. Really what I want to get to is this move here from uh, August of this year to the current high. But in how we got here and what lows we're dealing with, uh, I want to show you. So we know that any market that's going to continue its trend should hold 38.2% and then go on to new highs to keep the trend intact. Uh, any market that only goes 23% is extremely positive and usually into runaway markets. So that's what we're going to deal with the most right here. So we take the low in uh, October of 22 and we trace it back to the high here in July of 23. And you can see that 38% was right here. Now we did have a clo two closes under it, but it got back above it. Uh, this can happen, uh, and the most important thing is that this is such a big range that you're dealing with that the the um, target will remain the same when it gets back above it as if it held it perfectly. So we're going to see a couple other things up at the top here in a minute. Uh, so we had that there, the 38%, then on to this huge move up here. Now we take this one and we go to the next big dip here, and you can see that the market from the 22 low up to this current high, which was the all-time high at the time, came back to 23%. Never closed below it, but plunged down below it. Now, the next most important low is the one we just rallied from, and that's down here. So if we take that and move this one here up to here, we can see that it was also 38.2%. So it went down through 23, but hit the 38.2 from here. So that's how we got this low, and we got this key low here. So now I'm just gonna back this thing out so we can get a clearer picture of what we're dealing with right now and that is right here so we know that what the reasoning was behind this low here the 23 to the 22 low 38 back to the previous low so now we start to go and now let's just check what happens on the setbacks in this market here and we can see that it held 38 percent right here you know, one close below it, next day back above it. That's cool. I mean, that's that's all right to see. You see it plunge under it here, but never close below these levels. Here you had one close below it, and then it takes off and on to new highs. So then that same low, we can go back here and you look at what we recently... Now, here's how when the market really gets... Um, in a strong market you have to use even tighter lows to go to and you can see from here to here 23 percent held up to a new high then 23 percent held here and then got turned around by a 78.6 level um, we have all our other videos explaining what to do and that the 78.6 level is one that can stop this market and turn it uh, or end the whole bull move but in this case, it came down to 23%. Now, the thing that's so important here is that we came down, never closed below it, sat on it for four days. Well, we know the election result is what sent this thing shooting higher, but you have to, these levels were here before any of this news came out and the reaction from it is exactly what should have happened in theory, you know, and, and that's plan A. As we always say, we watch all the retracements on every move to see. Had this thing stopped at 78.6 up here, again, like it just did here, this could have been the end of this thing and we'd be looking for much lower. So what you did see here is that this market held 23% just to this low and then just exploded out of there. Like I said, you know why? after the fact, 
but beforehand you know what the potential was by holding a level like this just following the 144 rules and guidelines. So our next one um, we're going to go to uh, let's see here I'm going to have to move this a bit let's see to get to Bitcoin another market we're going to start uh, covering and again here this was to the 2022 low after the all-time high was made up here we sat sideways for a long time but you can see what it did was it came back to 38.2 percent dip down below it pretty big but came back by the end of that day and then stayed sideways for a little bit longer but now just like the uh, S&P did we can take this low because it's the extreme to here and see that we held 38 percent meaning this trend is still intact one close under next day right back above it then this market got so strong that we take this up to this net high here and we can see that it could only go 23 percent back of that meaning this market's extremely strong and then the last one here 23 0.6 percent and then the explosion just as you saw in the S&P but again the reasons are what they are fundamentally but you can see you know what to look for from all of these levels going back um, you you can see them on our website when we do them when we post them we post on barchart.com these things and if you are interested in uh, the Bitcoin S&P gold and oil you can uh, sign up for our free updates for the time being uh, on our link here on this uh, video. So now going to the grains where you have something completely the opposite direction where a market that's going to continue going down one going to hold 38 percent back to this high here goes to 38. Okay new lows follow then goes 23 percent back from this high up here well, we can just draw it in here some people like to see it but we like to keep it off of there just because of the it, actually there's a little bit higher high back here that gave us 23 up at this level we try to keep these lines off of the chart so you can actually see where they are and that's why we mark them instead so there's uh, less less lines on the chart so here we went 23 uh, percent I had a couple closes again above it then back below it and this is where you see as I just mentioned about 78.6 how the markets can turn and when it does that could be the start of the bull market as well as if it happens up on top as it did up there 78.6 percent ended that so the first target on a 78.6 is always 78.6 the other way and that we just did so right now um, we completed the first target will this be the, the you know the new uh, the base for the new bull move well become a subscriber and we'll let you know what we're thinking on that uh, for our grain and livestock weekly updates now I just want to go over to the soybeans same thing here this is just the last rally what it, you know you can see lower highs lower lows and then 38 um, percent that it couldn't get above got above got right back below it and then went down even through 78 hasn't made a new low yet and took out 38 percent back up which is kind of a positive sign there so uh, we'll be keeping an eye on it again become a premium member and you can see what we're looking for on the upside and downside on a failure of all this and then we go to the wheat and we can see that uh, the last three highs here of importance all came up into major retracements that uh, and this one here just 38 back to the last recent high up in here you can see telling us we should be going for new lows uh, but again we watch all those retracements on the way down we're still holding here above a major GAN square and uh, but you know you still could get down to this it, one it can still make a new low just based on a 38 percent rule but again if we were to hit this 78 like we did in the corn you could see this thing turn in a much bigger way so we hope these videos are helping you uh, what we do is we try and um, well we don't try we do give you the way what to look for 
when we when we do our updates and uh, with the Fibonacci we want you to understand why we think and what we think and what the potential is from all these levels now you can see it in any market and you can go do it yourself in any stock and just start measuring these things and just see where the market's going and then if it's 23 percent what happens after that if it's 38 what happens well we have our rules and guidelines and what to look for so you can get a lot of that through all of our videos and again like we said if you are interested in bitcoin gold s p and oil we will be starting um, a premium service for that in the, sometime in the beginning of the next year and you can get uh, right now with the link on our our video here you can sign up to get the free updates for that until we're ready to really go with the whole thing and just see how well these markets react to the Fibonacci retracements as we said we think they're the underlying structure of all markets and we hope you're starting to um, grasp that and uh, believe it so anyway until our next video good trading